Okay, so my brother sent me this. He works as a security guard over at a hospital, right? Okay, so um, here you see the paramedics, and they've got uh, they've got. Uh, from what I understand, it was like a seventy-five-year-old man on this um, uh, stretcher here. Okay, so this is the weird part, and doesn't say very much about these paramedics, but they start arguing over the door. I'm like. Leave the door open. Someone will take care of it. It's okay. You know, so, okay, watch. Watch this part. It's crazy. I mean, I'm just shocked that these guys have jobs still. I, you know, I'm like, look at that. Look at that. He didn't even, he didn't even, you know, put break. There's got to be brakes on the thing, right? Right? <laughs> look, oh, no. Oh, my God. The car. I forgot about that. Okay, and look at that. And they now this is an old person on that. This is what's crazy. Okay, and so they're you know they're panicking, and it doesn't even look like they're moving him very well. But I don't know. Maybe they thought, oh, he's got dementia or something, and we he, no one will believe him. I don't know. I, it's just a really sad state. And then the, the person always hits him. They're like, ah, what's happening? Did I hit this person on a stretcher? So, and there they are, they're gathering up. I wish I could get closer, you really can't see it as well, but it's, uh, I'm telling you, if this really gets out, this video, like if someone is going to own a hospital or someone's uh, relatives are going to be, going to be very rich. So, um, you know, uh, it's best to have witnesses when you get picked up by the paramedics or t taken somewhere, I don't even know. All right. <laughs> it's fun to share. Thanks.